All right, good morning. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss. Wednesday morning, there'll be a live stream later on today to go over the first injury report uh, of the week for Fantasy Football Week 7. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that notification button. And what I wanted to talk about is uh, the impact that Dak Prescott is going to have on the offense for the Dallas Cowboys when he makes his return this week. So uh, if anybody stash uh, Dak Prescott since he uh, first got injured back in the opener, uh, which I thought was a smart move. Um, I, I think in terms of how uh, Prescott's going to do, I'm really curious to see if the thumb is going to inhibit him at all. Obviously, the thumb is the most important finger for a quarterback uh, due to the grip and, and the power needed to generate uh, torque to throw the football down the field. Um, but I don't think the Dallas staff would put him out there if they weren't confident in his ability to do so. So I think Prescott ultimately will be okay. And remember, there was a dead zone at quarterback this season with Matthew Stafford and Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady all playing below expectations. Prescott was generally in that vicinity as well, so hopefully he'll be able to respond uh, and, and at least from a passing side of things, um, put up some decent points. He's not a runner anymore. Uh, that went out the door with the devastating, uh, uh, you know, broken, broken ankle uh, from a couple of years ago. <clears throat> So don't look for that part of his game. But uh, as far as the rest of the offense is concerned, I think it's it's uh, all going to be positives here. CeeDee Lamb, uh, whose value was propped up as best as could be expected by Cooper Rush. Um, Cooper Rush kind of locked in on, on Lamb when, in, in almost every start, which was good because we feared that Lamb would sink to wide receiver three value without Prescott. That did not happen. But uh, I also think that Dalton Schultz, if he can get himself back on the field, Dalton Schultz will have renewed fantasy football value. Dak Prescott loves Schultz. He uh, helped him engineer a career year last season. And in particular in the red zone, Prescott always looks Schultz's way. So if, if somebody dropped Dalton Schultz in your league, pick him up. Even if he doesn't play this week, uh, and certainly he's been dealing with this PCL injury all, all year, I think that uh, Prescott to Schultz is going to be a thing again. Michael Gallup still remains uh, an all or nothing, you know, deep threat guy, uh, touchdown dependent big play player. And I don't think that changes under Prescott. Ezekiel Elliott did run well last week. So I think he's got, a, you know, at least showed some more juice in his legs. I'm not buying it long term. If you could sell high on him, I would. Uh, Tony Pollard, not involved much in the passing game with Cooper Rush. I think that changes with Dak Prescott. So Tony Pollard is safe to put back in as a flex. I think he's going to catch some passes out of the backfield. Prescott does like to throw the ball to his running back. So that should uh, go well. Um, you know, as well the, the while Prescott's on the field. So again, hit the subscribe, hit the notification button. More videos on the way later. Live stream tonight.